What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do this cool shadow analysis or shadow diagram using uh, Revit and uh, and using some Photoshop just to put it, uh, put it together and it's a very cool way of presenting where the where there's most shadows on your uh, on your site plan and where there's uh, most sunlight so you can make some informed decisions uh, later on if you want to add some buildings or you want to kind of change something around it de uh, depending on those shadows and uh, exposure to sunlight but anyway before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because they make tutorials like this every day and follow me on social media as well okay so I'm going to be using this uh, project file this is just a school project that I've done for uh, last year's or last semester's studio and if you want to get this file I will be uploading it to my uh, to my Patreon, so uh, all of my patrons that uh, have donated uh, $5 a month or more will get access to this whole project file. So if you want to get that, uh, check out the first link, sh uh, link in the description. But anyway, so let's do our shadow analysis. So for this, I'm just going to go be going to the site plan, and this is what we have, this is the site plan. And here, uh, first thing you, you want to do is you want to uh, make sure that the shadows are the right uh, kind of the, the right color. So or the they're, they're light enough or dark enough so how do you do that you go here and you go to graphic display options and here in lighting you can change the values of the shadows so you can kinda make them darker or lighter and actually I like to use something like 25 for this particular uh, model because it's not too dark and again it's not too too light and before we export everything I'm just going to select this reference plane I don't really need it so I'm just going to be deleting it so it doesn't mess up the whole drawing and if I uh, zoom in over here you can see we've got some grass and this also has some texture which I can't see right now but yeah you can see here in shadow maybe better so it's got some texture texture so when we overlay all of these images uh, th those textures are going to be popping just a little bit and it's going to make everything look uh, a lot nicer and if you want to check out how I did that I'm going to be linking all of the tutorials I did using this project in the description so you can see how to set up those graphics and here I've got another reference plane or do I yeah so I'm just going to delete this one as well Anyway, so let's do our shadow analysis. So you need to go here to sun settings and just go sun settings. And here, instead of still, you choose single day. And let's use summer solstice, summer solstice uh, solar study. So you just check that. And here you've got some options. So first, sh uh, make sure that the location is right. So you just click over here and then you set up your project location in the in wherever in the world your project is so you can kind of expand this a bit and then you can play around but I think this is is this accurate yeah it is yeah this is a I've already set this up in a previous video so this is accurate so make sure to set that up make sure to set the date up but that cor corresponds to this so that's that's not that important and then for time I like to do it from a 8 a.m. to like 6 p.m. just to get those kinda early and late uh, shadows the, those long shadows and uh, when you change that it's going to change the number of frames and for the time interval you can use one hour I prefer one hour you can go smaller but it's just going to kinda make too many images so I, I wouldn't want it to to keep that and for the ground level plane just leave it at level 1 and just hit OK so the next thing we need to go here to file and uh, we need to go to export and just search down a bit and you've got this images and annotations and here you've got walkthrough solar study and image so you're just going to select the solar study and here just select all frames and here we see what we have so it's got 11 frames make sure that the visual style is hidden line for the dimensions leave it at as is or maybe we can change this a bit let's do 40 oops sorry I cancelled out of that so let's go back solar study what if I type in 40 over here let's see yeah it's going to make it a bit larger let's do 30 yeah this works so 
and you can include the timestamp and date stamp I don't think that's necessary so I'm just going to leave that out and you just hit OK and here you just want to save it on a desktop and I'm just going to change this to JPEG that's important so you, you don't want to export video you want to export images to put them together later on in Photoshop so just hit save and that's pretty much it so it's going to take a while longer than if you were saving just one photo because as you can see now it's running the analysis and it's actually saving or exporting 11, uh, 11 JPEGs so that's why it takes a bit longer okay so w once this is done you just uh, minimize uh, Revit and as you can see over here oops, as you can see and as you can see over here and as you can see over here we've got all of these images saved on our desktop so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the first one right click go open with and just choose Adobe Photoshop and then just wait for a second and it opens it up so now we can just zoom in a bit and the first thing I like to do right click on this layer and go layer from background and just hit OK next create a new layer drop it back and just uh, click Control A and then you get this selection of the full screen then you just use this regular selection tool or any selection tool you right click you hit fill and then you just fill it with white so you just choose here white and hit OK so you want to have just some white background and then now we need to load the rest of the images in and first just right click the deselect and move this out of the way and then select all of the images accept this one and then just drag it over and let's maximize Photoshop and just hit this kind of a check finish sign a few more times and now everything's loaded in so you just select the first image the last image you hold shift you select all of them and you change this to uh, overlay or sorry multiply not overlay yeah and you get something that looks like this now this looks way too aggressive and so we're just going to dropping back a fill or opacity just a little bit so you just drop it to something that works for you I like to be a bit aggressive so I don't know this looks nice so just select here yeah and now if we zoom in you can see there are all of these shadows overlapping and here you can see this is where kind of the shadow is uh, there's not so much shadows just in the morning or at night and here there's a lot of shadows here as well so now you know where are some critical spots where there's too much shadows or too many shadows and where are some of the spots where there's a lot of sunlight so you can use that to make some uh, informed decisions and now you can just go here file and save as and just save as JPEG on your desktop so just save as JPEG save and don't replace this let's call it shadows and that's it okay so that's pretty much it for this quick tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you want to get this project file again go to my patreon first link in the description and for only five dollars a month you can get access to all of my project files okay so that's pretty much it for this and i'll see you tomorrow